So the brain behind this technology is Mr. Uh, Dr. Ryo Kim, uh, and he is from Darren Group, and he will share with us on how to use this technology in virtual reality for flipped classroom learning, the buzzword for academics now this time around. Dr. Kim, please. Very much. I'm just moving go to here. So, oh, this one hiding a little bit. So, I need some technique how to keep this one over here. So, I yeah, maybe I can use yeah, I can use this. So today, you will see very, very interesting product, which will completely changing the uh, presentation method. So right now, I have a mouse here, and nothing else. There are a lot of operators here, but nobody helping me except me. <laughs> Show your hand, nobody touching. Yeah, everybody is free. And I have a camera here, very simple. We have just one single box, which make a magic. Uh, production. It's like uh, five people working together. So all this one we have uh, camera control here. So I will make a full screen from my notebook. So I, I need to operate my notebook. So my notebook has a PowerPoint file as you see now. So when I want to show my PowerPoint, I have to bring this one big screen like this and also can make a better one like that way. So today, a smart revolution. Everybody talking about smart world, smart revolution, but what happened really in the classroom? This is what I'm addressing today to change all the paradigm of education. I hope you agree. Then you have to propose me as a Nobel Peace Prize candidate. <laughs> So I'll prove this one really, so we'll make a teacher free and also we'll make the students uh, having their own time in class and having their own uh, lecture uh, studying at home. So all the different way of teaching may happen after this seminar. So as you see here now, when I talk to you, I bring myself very big, so you, you will see my face. You see the, I'm sorry for Sony presentation, I will be missing his face, but there's no way to see his face. This is too far. But now you can see me very big. If you want to make it bigger, you just click here and go into camera. You can bring the camera like this way, more bigger. So you will see how nice my picture is. <laughs> Actually, uh, this is slightly skinny than real because I make the skis, but I don't like too fat. <laughs> So now we have all the magic things on your hand, so you can use a studio. So now we have a studio like this. I can immediately change the studio walls or everything. For example, let me show you a very simple one to change the desk. So we can put this kind of desk immediately and also you can make this one wider, smaller, whatever you want. It means everything in the studio you can manage. You don't have to buy a new desk, you just get $10 desk there. Everything's on your hand. That's a magic way so you can make your million dollar studio immediately. So uh, first thing you have to do is to make a very beautiful studio. You don't have to pay big money. Once you have this uh, very low cost machine, Sony machine is much expensive than my machine. <laughs> so I have, uh, uh, this is what you have to do now. I'm sorry, of course the Sony is great if you have 4K, but now your mobile phone doesn't support 4K. <laughs> so what we are doing right now, we are trying to make a good quality of presentation which will really replace live lecture. This is what technology I'm bringing. So today I have a screen, very small USB camera here. I'm recording everybody here. If any people are sleeping or watching other things, you are recording. So this video will show every people in Singapore not only on Singapore, it will put on the YouTube. That means every people in the world will see. Furthermore, this video will stay forever, which means 10,000 years later, they will see who is sleeping on this classroom. <laughs> you have to be very careful, everything is recording now. So all this one, if you imagine, 
if I do presentation today, you can see this video immediately after you return back to your home or schools. So you can link this one to your the Facebook so every people can watch. So we have to propagate this new news to every people to change paradigm of education. This is your mission which you have to do today. So uh, the smart revolution in a class, in a school, in an education, there's a lot of people is talking about smart revolution, but key factor is the lecture has to come from your smartphone. So it's time you to create the video for your students, for your other peoples in the world. So uh, now if you look at the, uh, the uh, history, we have been working for road construction, highway from year 1950 to year 1980, something like that. And then from 1990, we have a PC a error. So all the people trying to buy Apple or Macintosh personal computer to have information on PowerPoint, information on any, any content. So the uh, high speed network coming from year 2000 to year 2010, eventually we have now the smart device on your hand. This means we are in the connected world, so we can make uh, all the people can show together, whatever you have information is ready to show every people. You can share from Facebook, you can share the video there, but one problem is making video is not easy as you expected. So far, today we show how we capture the video, all the, all the nice presentation today I record here, and then you can share. Unfortunately, we have some audio connection to my machine, so audio is not very good quality, but you will see the video quality very easily. So the connected world means every people has a full quality of smartphone, which they can see any video in the, in the classroom, in the conference room, in the, any hotels. But smart education revolution has to be connected to your smart device from any place in the classroom. That's the way how I'm trying to verify today. If you see all the beautiful screen, sometimes you have to see myself. I believe you will miss my face very much. And then you, sometimes you need to see my PowerPoint, then PowerPoint going there. So we make decision of screen from teacher side, not from audience side. When, I'm sorry for, keep telling you about Sony. Because <laughs> Sony make a, a different conventional presentation method. He showed this one, but we cannot see him. And also the problem is when he wants to see, when he start talking, we have to bring him big screen like this way. So his face has to come here. He should appreciate all the gestures, emotions, your heart, transferring to the audience. That's the way how we make a realistic presentation. Because teacher's mission is not exactly teaching the information. Teacher's mission is to motivate the students to do more aggressively uh, study the, the content. So now we are trying to bring the teacher's face like that way. So when we make uh, all the analysis, analysis the camera switching very, very important for video recording. That's why if you watch the movie, you should count how quickly they switch the camera. You will be surprised. They never stay more than three seconds in one camera. They make a five to ten, sec ten seconds continuously changing, but people does not know. Like I'm doing, if I do this this way, people watch automatically here, so they will see this kind of a content. So my, my, my face now is slightly angled to here to say smart education revolution can happen. So the, in this case, once we have this kind of technology, one lecture can do teaching to a million students. Once you make a one presentation here, it can be propagated all over the world, not only the geometrical world, but also the historical world. And also, if you look at the Khans, Udacity, Coursera, all this new revolution coming, it's like the Wikipedia and the Brotenica, uh, the, uh, the dictionary, you will see what happens past 10 years, Brotenica announced year 2010, they will finish last printing. Now nobody, there's a judge, but anyway, history is changing. So the education, education world will have the same thing. So I'm trying to make a one class for 1,000 classes. Once you have a teaching here, now if you have a connection, I can broadcast this one to any other conference room in Singapore not only in Singapore, but any other countries. So we are trying to make a, a one school have 10 million or 10, 100 million you can make. That's the way already all human beings in, the, in this planet, we invest 
how much you invest for your smartphone, you pay $1,000, $500. Every month you pay $50 for smart world construction. We are all participating in this kind of history changes now. You are the revolutionist now to make a smart world. So uh, if you look at the classroom, the older students here is actually not truly understanding 100% of their courses. This is the problem. I would say more than 85 to 95% in the classroom actually doesn't understand 100% of their daily class. If it's true, what happens? All the students going to the school from 9 to 4 p.m., they spend their very uh, important time in the classroom. If they don't understand 90% of the class, what's the happening? This is a miserable thing we have to think. We have to change this kind of thing. That's why all the, the inverted learning flipped classroom is happening and discussing. So today, I will show different way how we change this paradigm. So all the live teaching we are using, the blackboard method, the uh, whiteboard method, the electric whiteboard, whatever, the blackboard method has been used only 200 years in his history. If you Google, just type, what is the first blackboard in the history? You will find the French school use the first slate whiteboard and they use uh, some stone to draw. After that, we, have, we divide classroom into 50 to 100 students. All this dividing classroom is the technology limitation that every student has to watch blackboard, every student has to listen their audio. But once you have a smartphone, if there's no barrier for for transferring video to any place in the world. Why we should keep students in the classroom? So teacher has to go there, student has to come here. I hope this presentation is the last time in my life to have a conference here. So next, next time we will put this conference in the video. You will see when you come, and when you come to this conference here, you shake your friendship, you change your experience, talking more participate way, not to sitting and listening. This is a way to make an inverted conference. I'm claiming new way of conferencing is through smart devices. So uh, let's check the uh, technology. What is the uh, important point to make a lecture smart? I mean the lecture from smart devices. So we have to think, can video lecture better than live lecture? This is the most important. Still, every teachers, professors, and people are thinking live lecture is superior than the video. Even there's a lot of video in YouTube. What happened is all the MIT or Stanford video, which is called MOC or EDX site, you can see. But all these videos still in the YouTube, but there are a lot of same class happening in MIT and Stanford. They are very comfortable. Even they see this video, they believe students will come to MIT come to Stanford to have a listen. But once we really make a video lecture better than live class, this is a something different message. I am challenging that the way I'm doing is the way I'm presenting right now really replace this idea that once you do presentation from this device, either in your office or in your class, this video you don't have to repeat. This video can be used in any place. If I go to another conference center, I just play this video because you are watching that video, not me. What does it mean if you watch that screen only? That means I can go any other conference place and just playing and just sitting together with you and watching my video. This is the smart revolution which, which we have to do this. And if there's no video which can replace live lecture, that means there cannot be any remote class. That's why worldwide, Many people try to use a distant technology of distance learning method, but none of the people really make a distance class. Immediately, distance class people will complain that this is not good as local classroom. And after that, all the people in the school, even this uh, technology, doesn't make e-learning really happening in the website. Every people, when they access the learning management system, people expecting there should be the class. Which LMS machine, which LMS software is now really supporting video there? They support video, but the way of video creation is too complicated and too expensive. So I'm trying to uh, change this uh, architecture. 
So all the video, this is the uh, video from YouTube, this is a video from MIT. Even there is uh, all the nice video in, in YouTube, still we are thinking the video from that kind of environment has to be managed in different way. So I'm bringing new presentation method. So we need to invent new presentation system to make uh, all class conferences, seminars on smart world. That's what we are trying, and I believe you have a conclusion here. So now we are trying to show some way how we bring the content from Blackboard Classroom to this kind of smart world. So this is the way how we use it right now. So if you see here, we have a very complicated environment. If you go many hotels where they do very expensive conference, they do decoration. The reason why they do decoration is to put the camera video from there. Otherwise, the video become very bad. Now I bring the studio here, just bring myself and my note on the screen. That's why you have a screen like this way, and it's much beautiful than showing the PowerPoint only like this. If I keep going this kind of PowerPoint there for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, every people here will go to sleep very quickly. <laughs> So today, when I show like this way, immediately it's very beautiful. When you want to try to change whatever inside, like a monitor frame, I can make a frame this color or a red color or whatever you can do. I can use a red color and then we can apply there. And also we have small slider to make this one slightly transparent to make it beautiful. Which means I have all tools for you to change easily to make your video very beautiful way like this way. So the uh, technology I'm showing here, is the virtual studio, as you see now, we have one camera, we have one USB, which is for document camera. Another camera we can show you when students make a question, we can bring the students immediately to here, as like I'm showing you, you in this camera. So they can share all the students and also teachers. And all this thing is very easy, so any person here, within 10 minutes, they can operate, because I, I have only this mouse, nothing else in, in, in this round. And also, this is a full real time, so teacher managing the content. When you want to show a big screen, you can go there. When you want to go show this way. If you want to have a different scene, you can go here. You just select the, uh, the monitor, which, is, which will be blinking. This is the monitor one. Then that is selected. And then you can change the angle, let's say this way. So you can manage the angle, position. You can bring this one back front very easily. That way, in three-dimensional space, you have all the tools where you can change everything by yourself. That means you don't have to have the same screen. Every people has a different studio, different screen every time whenever you want to make a new video and presentation. So the, this is the way how we bring the uh, device in the classroom for any novice presenters in the world. Now we have a, 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 the time that from Blackboard, from classroom, become to internet smart world is the way to make a new presentation from hotel, from classroom, from university. So once you do presentation from classroom, it can convert to the video. So today I'm, I'm making full recording here. You can share this. You don't have to come actually here. You just see from your home, clicking this one, you will have the same video as you are watching here. And then we have this one in the collaborative teaching. So one teacher bring this presentation, once you understand watching this video, which means this video can share all Singapore schools, one teacher can duplicate unlimited class all together, which means if you try to make a thousand English teachers, you don't have to do that. You just make a grouping for slow speaking teachers or fast speaking teachers. Every group make just one section professionally, then they can make a collaborative teachings. And then they have more freedom to have time with their students. Students need an individual motivated discussion with the teacher. That's the way how we make a collaborative class. Another thing is I'm showing the flipped teaching. Actually, when I came here, I asked them to put my, my this studio in, in there, just to bring this uh, lightweight of the chroma key. I want to be there. So because every people watching here are not watching me, what does it mean I, I want to put there? And I want to see the same thing I'm doing, uh, you are watching. So people will understand. Students, students will see what I'm doing. That's why I can make easily change this one like this way. That's why I bring two monitors here to watch my video coming out. So we are trying to make a flipped learning. And also we are trying, I'm proposing to make a flipped teaching. So the seminar, I put myself here. Everybody watching the front side. 
and also I'm doing Korean teachers training class, putting my my screen in the back and watching the same thing as the students are watching. And also we do this kind of a flipped school, sharing this video with uh, other countries that we did actually with uh, Sweden collaborative, collaborative teaching without using any software, we just use Skype. And then this video going to Skype from my machine to any other place in the world, up to six class without paying money, you can make a real-time bi-directional interactive class from any place in the world. So the flip teaching means the teacher, teacher is standing here in the back of the class and then he's watching the same screen in the front and teacher watching the same screen as students. So they will feel what students is feeling. If they don't use this one, always teacher watching the face of the students and they doesn't know what students thinking for his lectures. Second one is uh, it provides the uh, eye contact simultaneously. For example, when I bring the my screen like this way. So we have a screen with this way, then if I see my eye to here, hello everybody, listen carefully about my new generation, new era of the presentation. If I watch my, my eyes slightly smaller, so I will make big eye and watch them, <laughs> then you will see I'm talking to yourself. That doesn't mean every people in the smart, smartphone, they will see teacher directly talking to himself. This is very important. Virtual eye contact is the most important part we have to bring in the classroom. If you stand in the front, when you see one student, the other side is a seduction, and this guy is saying, and then they can play something. This is not good. If you teach in the back side, you can watch on the back side of teach students. They just know where the teacher is watching. Immediately, every people has to be concentrated way to go like this way. So the uh, flip teaching means Many uh, inverted learning or flipped class people emphasizing that students have to watch at home and come to class to have a discussion. But actually what I'm, I'm proposing is don't, don't ask students too much study at home. They have to exercise. They have to enjoy their life. They are also very important people. Why you should ask them to study too much at home? <laughs> if I look at my, my, my children's book, they have a mathematics book, English book. When I see this one, this is a very small amount to learn such a long time. If they return them to study in the classroom, if we bring them to study hard in the classroom, like a classroom become library, they can learn very well. But the problem is the teacher keeping them to listening, which they really hard to understanding, and they spend time. So the, if you make such a video in studio in your school, let's make this kind of a two meter by three meter space, every teacher coming to make a recording. And I would say one hour, normally 50 minute class, you can make a video within 15 to 20 minutes. This is more than enough. And then this video you cut every section, like five minute play, and you make a question. And then student has to answer. And then this is examination, real time examination in the classroom, if they took a mistake, there's no way to cover. Just emphasize them to learn in the class, make examination, and if they finish, they go out, other people have to see this video one more time. The that way, we can change live class. I do believe this way will change class. This way will change challenging way of each student so we can, we can give the life for the students, for the, for the children. So that is called, I, I call this is uh, the flip learning recording. After that, from other class, you just make a five minute video, ask them a question, and then they can answer. You, your Moodle server will, will give you all the assignment or assessment there. So the, uh, the new way of the VR project I'm showing today, having new virtual reality presentation. So we have a beautiful screen here, changing there, and then all the animation and camera action doing by yourself, not by the professional cameraman. And also, we are saving camera because I'm using one camera, Sony for Sony. For Sony. <laughs> because we are emphasizing just one camera. One good camera makes many camera angles like this way. And then you have a, a virtual reality presentation here. And the other one we have is Skype or Hangout, which is so nice conferencing system that you don't need any uh, very expensive system, but just a free Skype can go everywhere in the world. So this one make a real distance lecture. I am proposing any person here who interests, let's make a distance conference between 
Korea class and Singapore class, see what the response from students is. They will be very excited. And the third one we do is the record video. Every valuable presentation happening in the classroom or hotel is recorded. The way as you are watching now, the same thing they are watching from YouTube. What does it mean about live class and VOD class? This is the same. So all the video from each classroom, how many classrooms you have in this university or other, other senior or junior high schools. Once you put all the video, you can easily check how many people clicking that video. Every student will talk, oh, I saw this video, this is very nice. Then more people coming there, then Ministry of Education very easily check who is the best teacher in Singapore. <laughs> that's the way how we make a new generation. Okay? So that's the power of the video recording system. And same time, just propose. There are many evaluation methods how teachers doing very good job. Instead of putting all the Georgia in the classroom to make uh, frustrate all the, uh, the teacher, you just put this one in live. And then every people watching and they click. Oh, this is great. They make a like or they make uh, some evaluation. That will automatically bring this live broadcasting for every place and also sharing class. So the iStudio education, I would say, iStudio's video method, just one box here, connecting smart network, either Wi-Fi or LAN, it connects to every people in the world. That's why this is a way of teaching. And also this one in the class, if you apply this one in live, you, I, I propose you to have a fleet classroom. And then once you have this kind of class, you can make a collaborative courses, which means every teacher can share they take their own part to improve the quality of teaching and they their time more for individual students review. And eventually this make a real flipped learning to make a smart education. That one is the biggest revolution in the history. That is the key point how we bring CNN style of the presentation to the students. Once they know this is the way, it's time for you to propose me as a Nobel Prize. This is a real Nobel Peace Prize. It's a really valuable thing if you agree. So the uh, iStudio education platform, we make one class teaching for all classes and also this video will stay forever. Imagine if Jesus Christ is um, Mahomet, whatever, the, the people who make this kind of presentation. We can see a lot of different emotions from them, but unfortunately there's no, no video. So now, time to make the iStudio. I will show you a little bit more things about the application. So iStudio, like, like you see here, we have a world, just connect iStudio in the classroom or conference room. Everybody can watch this one in, in there because all the other people already invested from Skype, from Google, uh, or WebEx, just a long uh, WebEx or connect pro on that machine, then the document part replaced with this video. That's why they can make a very nice the, the presentation video coming out. Polycom is for every machine, you just put this one in front and feed this mixed output to there so all the people will don't have to confuse between presenting screen and presenting space. Now the expensive tele-present system from Cisco. I'm sorry if there's a Cisco people. Anyway, they have two screens. One is PowerPoint screen, the other one is the TV screen where the presenter is showing. And the audience from the, the the distance place, they have to decide which one they have to see, it doesn't work. So the presenter only know which one he should show, like I'm doing right now, so they will not. If I do this way, every people are just thinking to see myself with a big screen, and then if I do this way, every people understand they have to see the, the presenting screen. So you can put this machine in any small studio, if you have an existing studio, just put there, and then ask all the operator, take a rest outside because you can do everything. You don't need any operator there. And then you, you can put this one in like a, this kind of big conference room. Then we should put some, some small light. I invent uh, LED light, which is very easy. I'm sorry for if there is any lighting company, but this is more than enough for smart presentation. And then we have a transportable system like I did. Just bring this transportation system, just put the small camera. This is uh, maybe 600 US dollar HDMI camera. Of course, if you have a good camera, much better chroma key and more nice uh, things you can do. So if you have a studio, you have to have a good camera. But if you have a small classroom, this one works with auto mode. Just press auto, everything they take care. 
But if you use a very expensive camera, you need a professional person. Yes, we can differentiate professional one and general one. The history of evolution always happening from general people. So I'm trying to bring that way. So here we have iStudio teacher studio. You can make a very small studio in your department or any, any space. If you have open space, you don't have to make a very nice sound isolation, this kind of thing. So you just use this one because normally we have video conference all the time. Then you have to use uh, maybe $60, sure, sure, 58 is okay for a conference because they isolate all the sound. This one is too nice. This is very, very beautiful. Yes, of course, the professional people has to need. Anyway, we, we are providing professional one and also a consumer one there. So I'm proposing them to have in-class studio like this. When you have a good conference room, you have to put this one in the lectern. So you don't need to anything, just showing this two monitor there, that's it. If you have a studio, we can make a small studio in any open space. If you have a three meter to four meter, you are ready. Within one hour, we bring, you call this uh, expander, they will go. Within one hour, you will have a studio. You can make a decent quality of presentation every day. Imagine to make a such kind of presentation video, you have to pay just a 30 minute. This quality of video, you have to pay at least five to ten thousand dollars. But if you, if you make two times video, it covers the price of the machine. So we have uh, many application sites. For example, this is a, a YouTube video or I asked to connect the internet. This notebook doesn't connect the internet. I mean the Wi-Fi. Then you have a, a video. As I see, I do presentation there. I put this lecture in the YouTube. In the PowerPoint, you can show this. This is a way of uh, flipped learning in GTEx. We show the presenter in the behind. Students here sitting, they have a, a they have presentation video in front. So you see the uh, screen like this. So they have a, a teacher behind. There's a students because we have a small booth. This is the only way to put flipped classroom there. And a lot of uh, we put this one in medical applications. So actually, the, there's a patient patient doing the real time operation, and then the doctor showing endoscope everything and discussing his supervisor where should he cut. <laughs> this is very serious. The patient is there. He doesn't know what, have, what happened there. He's talking with the serious, talking with the other people. And this is really happening because they have to decide very quickly. They need a very professional supervisor to decide. And we have a conference, we have a seminar, we have a, a Polycom or Cisco connection. So what we do is just out to go their VJ input. So you, have, you save the video because we just use one stream. So very good quality of video coming out there. And we can put this kind of a machine. So there. So now it's, it's connected. Uh, this is the, the YouTube. So the, the Skype, we make a conference. So I will show you my, my office, where we have a small desk. So people doing this one. Yeah, maybe network connection is not good. Let's keep because we have. Yeah. OK, I believe you can understand what's, what's happening there. So the, uh, the video from studio, of course, we can make much better quality with a, with a good camera, good audio. We can put there to make a, a professional studio very easily. And also, we put this one in the uh, biggest conference room like we have today. And uh, we also use this one for conference. We have uh, uh, the live broadcasting from conference center, where we have a Korea-China software, uh, software consortium like this. Okay, so uh, the speed of network looks not uh, like not very good. So we, we have a lot of uh, this is very interesting uh, video. As I mentioned, we have a Sweden Korea collabor collaboration class. So one teacher in the Korea sitting behind like this way, and then the video like this coming out from the screen. So they sometimes they bring students, they do this way, and then all this uh, uh, video showing the other side. The other side in Sweden, they just use a notebook, nothing else. They make a small speaker up, and then everybody uh, uh, going Skype. You know, Skype has uh, the other students in the second screen. So we make a second screen from this machine, connect to another TV there, so they see the students in the Sweden. So eventually, they have uh, the, uh, some, some part they can show. So for example, this video, 
Unfortunately, there is no audio, so you cannot hear what they are doing. This is the Sweden side. It's a Skype from Sweden side from their notebook. We connect this one to my machine as one of the input. And then they are asking some questions from PowerPoint. They make an audience feedback. They make answer. We do Korea and Sweden competition for this lecture. That way they can make a live corporate education without any investing big money just using this machine. So all the uh, technology I'm showing is uh, a way. So you can put this one in any studio like your office. So teacher don't have to do, go to the class. Please try this method in your, in your office. Make a Skype, connect your any class remotely, see what the response is. They will make a big approach. So that way you can make uh, this kind of a machine in your classroom or your conference rooms or the uh, conference system you have there and classroom. Uh, all these things make a completely different level of presentation. So you will have a different uh, system. We have a machine like 200, 300 and transportation system. So very reasonably cheap, uh, much cheaper than any expensive camera. And also we are providing not only machine, we are providing the studio. So when you try to make a build a studio, you need the construction of chroma key, you need the very professional lightings, and also you have to bring the, all the, uh, the sound isolation and rooms, it takes six months. And also the space is so expensive. So we invent new way, just a small chroma key like I, I do now. So you can build this one any open space in your office or in your department. That's the way how we make a live presentation from any place. So you can save construction time and also constructing devices. So the, the new uh, smart presentation system today you saw, maybe this is the first time you saw in your life, and also this is the way how you make the presentation by yourself. That way we can do all the uh, different iStudio smart presentation system, open new era of education. If you have any question, you will, you will, you will send me email. I believe this is more than enough for you understanding why we should use this iStudio immediately. If you late, you lose your time. You are, you are faced every day getting old. If you don't record right now, you have to record all the old face. That's why I'm very emphasized. You need to decorate or you have to buy Korean some the <laughs> cosmetic things. That makes it so nice. Then you will have a very beautiful way. So I want you to try this method to be smart education revolutionist. We are all working together to make a new world of education and we have to participate together. Thank you very much. All right, wow. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kim. I don't know how else to say after this, except to tell my boss uh, for the next six months I'll be working from home. <laughs>